hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sally Jacks, um, and I wanted to go through a couple of things that we're doing to keep um, clean during, um, obviously, you always got to keep clean, but during the coronavirus. So there's a couple of things that I've picked up along the way that I thought you may be interested in. Um, so first I'm going to talk around a couple of things that we're doing within the home and then I'm going to show you if you're getting any deliveries and what we're doing with that as well. So first of all, I think I've said it on a couple of the other videos, obviously your... Um, your sana hand sanitizer that should only be used when you can't wash your hands and if you look at the back of this one its alcohol content is 70% and that's the one we use. Your content for your alcohol for it to actually do anything must be over 60%. Now another rule, because I was trained to do ward liaison um, within the NHS, one of the other rules that was given to us when we used to do um, ward liaison was that you mustn't use this more than three times. So um, for example, so if you're using it at nine o'clock in the morning, then you want to use it again at 10 past nine, then you want to go and use it again at quarter to 10 in the morning and you haven't washed your hands, that's okay. Okay, but the third time and over it is imperative that you wash your hands because this then acts like a sticky residue and acts like a velcro on your hands and does the complete opposite to what you want it to do so that's really important that you know that about your hand sanitizer secondly um so really difficult to get hold of at the moment i've got a little tip which is uh which i'm going to do with a hand bar of soap in just a moment for you um but this is an antibacterial now looking on the back of it it doesn't have what i'm looking for there's two names which i'm going to put here Okay, so these two names, if they're on your antibacterial soap, you don't want to use that soap too much, move on to another one. And the reason being is because a doctor has actually um, said that those ingredients in antibacterial so soaps can actually end up suppressing um, uh, the immune system. So you've got to be very, very careful if you are using soaps with that. And a lot of antibacterial uh, soaps come with that. Just This is my tip for hand soap and a hand bar of soap. So this is an awesome idea that I've seen somebody do and basically you take your bar of soap but I always think that if you've got that bar of soap and everybody's moving their hands around it, it will get really quite dirty. So what we've done is I've taken a bar of soap and um, I've put on my uh, peeler and then all I'm doing is peeling strips from it. So therefore when you come to wash your hands, you can take one of the curls and you can wash your hands with a soap in a dish that's already on the side. Now this is fantastic for people that are struggling at the moment, just like myself, to be able to get hand soap. So take one of those, and that's what you can wash your hands with. So take it out of the out of the dish, so you could put, that's just an, an old takeaway dish, and then you can wash your hands with that piece of soap. If you need more, you can go in and sit and get more. So that's one of my tips um, for um, actually cutting up one of your bars of soap. The other thing is mobile phones and remote controls because they're really dirty. So what I tend to do is I tend to take a cloth. I will spray it with my, this. it says Mr. Muscle, but it's not. I've put, um, there's a flora in there. So I've sprayed the cloth. It's not that wet. And then I wipe over it like so. If you want to get in between the buttons, if they're not as easy as what these are, he's wanting to use the remote again, then you can get a Cupid, you know, the Cupid tips and you can go in between them and you can also do that on your keyboard as well and obviously they're recommending that you um, use your antibacterial your cleaner over your surfaces in your kitchen as well on a regular basis now going out and um, this is another tip uh, going out um, I've learned through all the reading that I've been doing is that the coronavirus of COVID-19 can actually stick onto your clothes and to your hair so if you've got long hair like me it's obviously better to tie your hair up and out of your way because one of the things that people we keep going on about hand washing but one thing that's absolutely vital is that you do not touch your face because if you've got and it's invisible we cannot see it 
if you've got coronavirus or COVID-19 on you, obviously coronavirus is uh, what you get. COVID-19 is the disease. Um, if you get it, then if you touch it, that's how it enters. So that's why it's imperative that you do not touch your face um, when your hands are unclean. So if you are um, out and about and you're touching things and you've got your hair down and you have to move it away out of your face, that's not a good idea, is it? So if you have got long hair, it is imperative really that you put it up and it's out the way. Therefore, the loose strands aren't going to get in your way um if you're entering the house um as we have done um, with gary he's had to leave once for the pharmacy and we're going to have to do it again today um so because they've upped my asthma sprays so i've got to go up to well actually it's a couple of levels up and that's because of the uncertainty of the times that we're in um and obviously i've been a bit chesty recently and a bit tight chested um <clears throat> and i've had a bit of a cough so, um, you know, so they're, they're just taking precautions, really. So we've got to go and pick that up. As soon as Gary comes in the door, he will go out wearing gloves. I've got the 50 uh, latex gloves on order. They still haven't arrived yet. Um, but Gary will wear the gloves. He will also take the um, uh, uh, sanitizer, which has got 70% alcohol in it. He will pick it up. We will leave the uh, pharmacy. We will leave my um, asthma spray outside. We will leave it outside for two to three hours. Obviously, depending on the rain, it is a little bit uh, drizzly today but we leave it outside Gary comes in the door I leave all the doors open so he's not touching any of the handles he strips off with he no jokes he strips off by the washing machine by the back door his shoes get taken off by the front door they get carried through if he walks through with his shoes I steam the floor afterwards obviously steam gets rid of 99.9% .9 of bacteria etc and he puts his shoes outside so therefore they are uh, purifying out in the sunlight and they're getting the breeze and because they don't know how long this thing attaches itself and they don't know how long it attaches itself to surfaces etc some are saying a couple of hours some are saying 24 hours some are saying nine days so we're really just taking precautions with this and then I'll have <clears throat> everywhere upstairs is completely free so he doesn't have to touch door handles the shower will be already running he gets in the shower and he washes uh, completely with his hair as well and then the towel that he uses then goes in the washer so those are the precautions we're taking inside the house um, and I think I'm going to go through those a little bit later on within this vlog as well um, the other thing as well is that if you are going shopping uh, for me um, the NHS have been absolutely on our amazing Amazing, and I can't believe and I will be one of those that will be out clapping at 8 p.m. tonight um, this has been recorded before so you're probably out clapping you've, you've probably been out clapping but one of the things that's imperative is if you are a nurse and you are a doctor is that if you've done a shift you don't go shopping with your uniform on because obviously that uniform could have the bugs and the virus and you're going into a shopping center with it they've no idea how it clings they've no idea how it sticks we absolutely know that the PPE isn't good enough at the moment in this country. That's the personal protective equipment that the nurses and doctors are wearing. Um, so that's one of the things when I saw that um, they were being clapped as they were going into the supermarkets, which is incredible. And I don't mean to be rude when I say this, but obviously if you've been on shift and you've been on the front line, you are then taking, if you are carrying uh, COVID-19, you are then taking it into the supermarkets. So that's imperative as well. Obviously the supermarkets have their own rules and regulations, which are brilliant they've got the markers uh, they've got the hand sanitizer for you to sanitize obviously what you're holding they're saying don't pick anything up unless it's absolutely necessity um, and obviously cleaning all the door handles within your home now we've been isolating uh, for tomorrow we've been isolating for 14 days um, and so um, I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed although my stomach has been very jittery as I, I suspect yours has been so, you know, anxiety is a little bit higher than what it's ever been before uh, for some people. Mine's been okay. I suppose the jittery tummy is that anxiety, but it's my anxiety is nowhere near as what I had before the iron infusion. I am going to do a vlog on my vitamins and what I take and what Frankie Jack takes, and that will definitely be on next week for you. But here is some of the other things that I've done whilst cleaning my home and some of the uh, tips and tricks that you can take going forward. And you 
you've probably got a load of your own so please leave them in the comment section below it's always lovely to hear from you and it's like a little family gathering isn't it and we can all hear what each one of us is doing and everybody can pick up a certain tip and trick that we're doing um yeah so leave them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you on board and don't forget to press that bell notification and i'm on other social networking including facebook twitter and instagram and it'd be lovely to have you on there as well all as one big happy family so here are some of the things that i'm doing in my own home uh, for helping to protect against uh, the coronavirus not everybody's going to be able to do this because of where you live so i, I obviously consider i know we're very lucky but if anybody drops anything um we don't put a note on the door but we actually ask them we open the door and we actually ask them to drop it here because during the day this is very sunny at the moment so actually the sun can purify some things so if we can't I will also wash them down as well before they're delivered because obviously um, the coronavirus is invisible, uh, COVID-19, and you can't see it. So we either get them dropped like this. So my brother dropped some Manuka honey off and this was delivered to, to us today by TNT. So what we do is um, we leave them outside for roughly around about one to two hours. We want just to purify things uh, before they come in the house because things can actually live on um, what's being delivered to you as well. So you just got to keep yourself extra safe, especially if you are old and you are um, uh, got underlying conditions so that's one of the things that we do so this is what we're doing when everything is delivered we bring it outside so you can see there's um uh, just a bacon sandwich there's a, an envelope there we leave it out in the sun so this is for anybody at home leave your stuff out if you can just to purify it and the sun uh, sun actually purifies things um and obviously as we know for any flu or viral or, or anything like that we tend to get it more in the winter when the sun's not around i'm not saying this is going to get rid of covid19 we do not know but what i do know is that my mind feels better for doing this and i've read a, a few people um doctors etc that have been saying that these are great things to be able to do so i've already had the um duvet hung up but i've taken that back upstairs but this is what i've done with our mattress topper this afternoon so i cleaned all the furniture before i laid this out this is our mattress topper I've also got all the pillows dotted around um, just to purify them. And I'm not saying this is going to get rid of the coronavirus, but this is something that will be really good for you to do and strip all your bedding to put outside as another um, sort of uh, way of making sure that everything is clean, etc. in your home. One of the best things that you can do to actually sanitise your bed, obviously we know sanitising comes from steam, so to actually have the steam on, on your um, iron, and actually iron whilst it's on the bed and that goes with your pillows also and also your duvet cover so you can do a little bit if you want to on the ironing board um, which we have but we also bring it to the bed and you iron like this also the wash that i put the duvet on is a 60 degree i know all this 30 degree malarkey and it's very good it's very eco-friendly but where your bed and your towels are concerned it is better and if you've got a steam input or output or whatever it's called um, that you can put on on your washer that is also better for you the more that you do and um, the cleaner that your bed's going to go now that's not just for coronavirus also keeping on top of um, things like house dust mites etc in your bed so as i've said all along with what we have delivered we always have everything delivered um to the door and it waits outside um obviously we've had the sunlight all week so it's been very lucky we haven't this week this today because um but we've still left it out in the fresh air nobody knows how long viruses last on things uh, the virologist um, not even they know at the moment how long this particular one is that's our shopping for today so i'm now going to bring it in with my rubber gloves on which i'm just about to get in a moment but you'll see as i carry it in because i don't want to be touching that and my camera at the same time so i'm going to go and put my camera on the stand and you'll see me bringing it into the kitchen with my gloves on so as i just said excuse me i am not dressing up unless i decide to later on i put a little bit of makeup on today because we're going to go for a run uh, sorry a walk um, but that's just like a, 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 a self um, SPF with a little bit of um, scurry. Gary's banging in the background as usually. He always likes to come in when I'm just filming just to start banging around. He loves it. 
<laughs> he's giving me the V's now. So these are my rubber gloves and I'm about to go and pick up the kilos and uh, start washing it down and how I bring the food in. Oh, we've started getting ready for Easter as well. We want to do a bit more Easter today, but I don't know whether we're going to have time because we want to also go for um, a long walk for Frankie Jack. So I'm just going to go and get the stuff by the front door. I make sure this doesn't touch me at all because viruses can also live on the um, clothes and your hair as well. So I'm going to take these out. Now these I'm just going to give a quick wipe down. So I've already boiled some very, very, very hot water um, and just a little bit of um, fairy liquid. And I'm just going to wipe these down before we put them into the cupboard. And then make sure that they sit on the side and they can rest that goes back in to get the soapy water because as we know soapy water is getting rid of everything and that's got a lot of soap in it and i move on to the next thing which is our next loaf of bread we'll just wipe down that so everything was wiped down really thoroughly and the brown paper bags i then put back into the plastic bag at the end and then the plastic bag went in the bin so I'm going to put that in there and that carrier bag now is going to go in um, the plastic bin outside. We're not actually going to use that carrier bag again. So I'm going to swirl my hands out now. I'm also going to use, this is not Mr Muscle, we actually put um, Zaflora in there. I'm just going to Zaflora my gloves down. Those in, Zaflora the side. Well, we've had the stuff. A bit of disinfectant there. And then also, last but by no means least, I'm also going to floor the floor where that carrier bag was. I've used the cloth on the floor the last time, and then that will go in the bin. I will do my hands again. Disinfect around. Cleaning antibacterial everywhere. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Whoever. Happy birthday to you. That's hot. Oh. Back up there. And also, I have two different towels in the kitchen. Um, so I have a hand towel that we can wipe um, our hands when we've washed them, but I also have a tea towel, so we've got both, because I don't want everybody wiping their hands on the tea towel uh, when they're washing their hands in the kitchen. We went for a walk last night and I've washed all the dog's leads as well, um, but unfortunately I've shrunk Dolly's. She had a really cool Harley Davidson one, so I've just ordered three more from eBay. And obviously, once they come, I will. Uh, but these are cloth ones, so they, those will be put straight in the wash as soon as I get them. But we should be they should be arriving next week. Excuse me. My last tip, which is tip 16, is to remove all your jewellery. I don't even have, I normally have a bracelet on this hand, but I'm holding my phone. I've even removed that. And that's my wedding bracelet that Gary put on on my wedding day. I've removed all my, apart from my earrings, but I've removed absolutely everything. Jewellery can actually clog and hold a lot of bacteria in it. Um, so if you're at home and you're not going anywhere, then what's the point in wearing it? I've even removed my wedding ring and my engagement ring. Um, I still love Gary. We've still got the paperwork and what does a paperwork and a piece of metal mean anyway in some th crisis such as this so if you can go without it it's better for you um, because obviously you don't want that ring clogging up any dirt especially if you are having to go out and do that essential shop at the supermarket so that was my last tip 
thank you so much for watching i really do hope that was a real help for you um i know for me i've been absolutely you know what i'm like um i have been on it like researching everything those are the couple of things that i've picked up but like i said if you've got any leave them in the comments section below thank you for watching thank you for being part of my youtube channel it's always lovely to see you and hear from you and i'll see you again in a couple of days time love you lots stay home stay in and stay safe i love you so much bye bye